Uh, good on everybody and thank you for everyone who attended my beginner's fly tying class. Um, what we're going to be tying today is the simple uh, Neil fly fishing shad crack fly that we tied during the class. So all I'm going to start out with is a size 4 Arex trout predator hook with a 3 16 of an inch bead. It can be tungsten or brass, whatever. Uh, I prefer tungsten just because it gets down deeper. This is 210 denier uh, wax thread. Start my thread just behind the bead. Snip it off. Get a nice thread body on there just to grip all the material as well. Just to the bend of the hook here, take my marabou. All I've done is I've stripped off all the excess junk that you don't want on there when tying all this in. It just makes the tying in easier and a cleaner looking fly. Simply hold the rest of the marabou going towards the eye of the hook with your left hand and make wide overwrapping turns over top of it, locking it in place all the way up to the bead. I like to twist the marabou up. It just makes more of a cord and easier to snip off. Then snip that off right there, just behind the bead. Clean that up just a little bit. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take your chenille, find where you wanna tie in, which is at the tip. Then you're gonna wanna expose that core, which all I'm do is just pulling out all the, the fibers, exposing the core. The core just makes it a cleaner tie-in point and I, I would say a more durable fly in the end. In the end, I like to tie that all the way up to just behind the beads, same place as the marabou. If you're using the Norvice or whatever vice you're using, I like to use a, a half hitch right there and then progress the chenille all the way up to behind the bead. tight touching wraps all the way up to the bead and then secure that with uh, two wraps behind it, two to three wraps behind it, two to three wraps in front of it. Take your scissors, snip that off close and then you can either do a whip finish which is taking two, fin two fingers, putting them over top of the thread, wrapping over top of them and then just making that turn over top of it three, four, five times. And then you could also just do a simple half hitch like we did behind the bead. Two to three, four times, whatever, however many times you want. Snip that off just behind the bead. And there's your finished O'Neill Shad Crack Fly.